we need to get the best and the finest, and if we don't, we'll be in trouble for a long period of time. The national security advisor is the first to go, less than a month on the job. Flynn made it clear he was leaving because he had misled Vice President Pence and other senior officials about his conversations with the Russian ambassador. The director of the FBI, James Comey, fired. Learning of it on television, he thought it was a prank. He wasn't doing a good job, very simply. He was not doing a good job. Outgoing Press Secretary Sean Spicer told Sean Hannity Trump didn't want him to quit. He wanted to bring some new folks in to uh, help wrap up the communications operation. And after reflection, my decision was to uh, recommend to the president that I give Anthony and, and Sarah uh, a clean slate to start from. The scapegoat this week, outgoing Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. Although it's always a little mix when things like this happen, I generally feel pretty good. Right, previous, a good man. The controversial communications director, known as the Mooch, quickly made waves, attacking several senior White House officials in a tirade to The New Yorker, calling former chief of staff Ryan Priebus a bleeping paranoid schizophrenic, and tearing into strategist Steve Bannon with a profane attack. The New Yorker's Ryan Lizza, who conducted the interview, telling CNN at the time, White House was already deeply factionalized, and he just, it was like, it, putting Anthony Scaramucci in that job was like throwing a grenade into an ongoing civil war. In a statement, the White House saying Scaramucci felt it was best to give Kelly a clean slate and the ability to build his own team. After his abrupt ouster as the president's chief strategist, Steve Bannon wasted no time getting back to being a populist firebrand. I feel jacked up, he told the Weekly Standard. Now I'm free. I've got my hands back on my weapons. Hope Hicks, the president's longest serving aide, with the president even before his campaign. She is now stepping down. Tonight, the White House says the timing of this resignation is coincidental. We've just learned that President Trump has put out a tweet announcing that he has a new Secretary of State. Mike Pompeo, the CIA director, is in. Rex Tillerson, the current Secretary of State, is out. This adds to a long list of departures. Hope Hicks, Gary Cohn, within the last few weeks. And now, no Secretary of State being replaced by a CIA director. Uh, we are back in, in an issue of turmoil for this White More House once again. More than 30 top officials in the last year, just 14 months into this administration.